than five meters. Sorry, for uh, graphene, you use that language. All the articles were over the phone. And this, it's the strangest thing to read articles now that still are lacking that awareness, lacking that research. I don't know how light graphene is. I know it has four times the capacity for the same weight and space. I'll call it a space occupation for how much space it takes. So in other words, this electric unicycle could have four times the range. So instead of like 50 miles, it could have 200 miles for the same weight of batteries. Or another way of thinking about it is we could have one quarter of the weight of batteries and have the same range. So that would significantly reduce the weight. What may end up happening is I may start collaborating with companies that have achieved uh, extremely fast charge times with batteries that are significantly higher cost. Um, there's a lot of batteries out there that can be charged in like 15 minutes to at least to 80%. But if 80% is a 100 mile range or 50 mile range, then that's perfect. I'm fine using 80% range I need. And then paying, you know, maybe paying several thousand dollars for that. Life. Or, or no, the research I think was saying that those batteries have a shorter cycle life and then they found out that that was the fast charging research. If you look at the ordinary charging, they actually have a, a longer cycle life when charging at normal, you know, let's say 5 amps, which is what the stock charger was. If we charge these cells, that, uh, which are, I forgot what they call them, I think they're called 50S, but confirm that for yourself. Whatever cells these come with, it's the good ones. So they actually last longer, longer cycle life when not fast charge.
spending an extra two thousand, which would be four thousand dollars, to get a battery that is, for example, crappy. So all those articles that say oh crap, it's not that pretty and crappy blah blah blah. Well, all the motors get into the cells, they you know they don't even have any crap. And I think those batteries are worth like three thousand dollars. customers to be able to fast charge those electric bikes they were offering. Rumble motors with their graphene batteries they were offering. That was the upgrade option when you buy your electric bike from them, which were kind of like electric motorcycles. I don't know if they consider them electric bicycles. I think they're considered electric motorcycles. But those were really nice. And if you look up Rumble Motors on the website, you can see their that demonstrate the Rumble Motors. Most of the time the batteries are able to regain some capacity more than they have you know when they're not working anymore but some batteries are beyond repair and that does happen those chargers are not recommended for lithium because uh, I think it, they can I, this you have to confirm this for yourself but I think they can they can be used but there's like a liability
I'm going to share with you um, something that was shared with me about learning. And those tiny LEDs, I had the 6500 Kelvin color temperature, which is a white light. You can choose different color temperatures and different colors. But um, I had wrapped those lights, those bright white LEDs, around the... Uh, like I, I, I lined the, the like the bottom side, so like underneath, you know, like here and there, so on the side. Yeah. Oh, there's videos of that. If you look back, I don't know if it's been a year. set up that way. You can you can, uh, you can uh, program it that way or set the you know, get it to the set. And I like how it adds a little bit of energy back to the to the battery. And some people don't percent back. Others say five percent, ten percent. But to me it's not a loss. I'm gaining some energy back and I like that. But I'm 100% saving my brakes. And that's, that's significant. Imagine reducing brake maintenance. And it really surprised me how so many people were fixated that 1% energy recovery. And not mentioning the fact that they don't have to buy brake pads, in, brake pads anymore. Or 99% less often. You know, so instead of changing your brake pads once every couple of weeks, which many people are Right, like mountain bike brake pads, like the small small brake pads. Right, and you're stopping a scooter that weighs between 50 pounds and 100 pounds, and then you add that to weight. Called 50S. Right. 
good. I think it's one of the more good sales. They're really, really good. Good price. 